I know you're probably planning to wear an oversized sweater and leggings and your most comfortable pair of jeans for Thanksgiving and all your family friendly functions, but I just know that we can do it better. I'm gonna be sharing eight different outfits that you can pull some inspiration from so that we can bring the extra razzle dazzle to Thanksgiving dinner this year. This first outfit is right in our comfort zone. We're just adding a little extra oomph to it, okay? So I'm taking that oversized sweater and I tuck the hem into the bottom of my bra band just to give it a little bit more crop and shape. Y'all know that I love to do this. I do it all the time. And I'm pairing it with these asymmetric detailed jeans that I picked up from Zara just to give a little bit extra details, okay? And I kept it all neutral, okay? So we got this cream style aviator coat that mimics the same color of the sweater nude accessory so that bag is from Lulu's and the shoes are meals that I picked up or sling bags they're sling bags okay that I picked up from Macy's and then I threw on these olive tone sunglasses by Lorve this one is petty if I'm not mistaken I'll make sure I link everything down below for you this one is the comfortable sleigh okay this one is my sis got style but she's not doing too much <laughs> <laughs> she's not pulling up with all the stop she's gonna save it for Christmas okay that's what this girl is giving she might have cooked she probably pulled up with the cornbread you know what I'm saying that that's this sis but then because we are living our lives in color this year at least I am okay because because I am living my life in color this year I did want to add an extra special twist to this one and so I pulled out this plaid coat that I showed you in my recent she in haul that has this magenta tones and these navy royal blue tones in it and I paired it with the pink booties from Macy's and then that metallic blue purse that's also from she in and she is giving all of the vibes Okay, I love this one. It's definitely, you know, when you're ready to step a little bit more out of that neutral zone, you wanna add a bit of color without overthinking it. This is the outfit to do it. This girl definitely said, <laughs> I know it's just Thanksgiving and I know we just said grandma's house, but this is every day for me, okay? <laughs> and this one is still equally as comfortable as the first one. It's just that pop of color which is a little bit more than a pop full color. Okay, this this is a couple strokes of color. So I really like this one. Let me know if you like the twist versus the neutral girl. I'm feeling both though. I am feeling both. Staying in the cute but cozy realm, I wanted to do a denim on denim look. So I did this look with a denim shirt, denim jeans, and this jacket. So we get that like similar blue tones in the jeans, which is a bootcut jean, and the um, button up shirt, which is, is short sleeve, right? But then to give us a little bit of coverage, is in case it's cold where you are, because right now we're getting all the seasons in Georgia right now. So it's cold today, but we don't know what, what tomorrow brings. We, we just don't know, okay? So I did pair it with the shacket, which is from H&M. And I love that the shacket brings in that blue tone that we get from the denim, but in a way that's not too matchy-matchy. And then of course it brings in that cream and tan, uh, very neutral colors. So what I did was then I paired it with the camel booties that I also picked up from Macy's. I like these boots because they added extra texture to this look. So you have like the denim, but then you have that cozy feel from the jacket and then the patent faux leather in the shoe also brings an additional texture as well the bag that I chose so even though she is neutral sh we're playing with textures here to give this outfit a little bit more dimension right and then of course I can't go anywhere without sunglasses so I did the what's tea by Lorve as well adds a little extra like cool girl streetwear to this look so it keeps it out of um Canadian uniform <laughs> lumberjack <laughs> I'm coming in from cutting out of trees and it gives us this cool edge to it that I really love and even though it's a denim on denim moment we have that ruching effect that crossing the two sides of the shirt when I tucked it into my jeans gave us so it's very food baby friendly low vibrational plate friendly okay it's still very comfortable even though it's a denim on denim look perfect for grandma's living room <laughs> 
or your own, <laughs> whatever you're doing this year. The next outfit is still comfortable vibes, but we're taking it up a notch. So this is a good option if you're going to your in-laws house that likes to dress up a little bit more or a work-related function where you want to be comfortable, but the dress code doesn't call for jeans, right? So what I did was I paired this wide leg pant that I picked up from Shein recently from the tall section. So girl, it's actually long enough for my legs we stand it's just a really beautiful color it's more of that like jewel tone and so it's not bright and blaring but a really beautiful like almost royal i feel regal in this color okay but to make it a little bit more comfortable especially if you're thinking about wearing something like this to a work related function i did want to pair this with an oversized black sweater to let the pants be the star but then accent them with a little razzle-dazzle from the shoes, right? So the shoes give us that sparkle, you know, got to remind the people that it is still holiday and I'm not pulling up to clock in. We're here to celebrate, right? So I did add that sparkle shoe that I picked up from Macy's and then keeping it all cohesive with the black Aldo my everyday bag that has the uh, silver chrome detailing on it so it ties into that shoe and sis is ready to eat okay this is giving rich auntie vibes this auntie catered okay she went and picked up her dish from the caterers she might not even even picked it up she might have had it delivered to the house before she got there okay she said she is ready to eat maybe not too low vibrational but low vibrational enough that it's good because it was catered <laughs> outside of oversized sweaters and leggings i do like knit dresses for occasions like this because they're so easy to throw on they're one piece outfits you really just have to worry about accessories and you're still very comfortable it's something about the coziness that a knit dress gives you as it hugs your body and you can still move around in it love so this is actually my favorite way to go for like family dinners, family functions, like a Thanksgiving, pulling up to grandma's house. Um, and so the first one is actually this two piece set that I'm wearing, it is from Lulu's. So it is a knit sweater dress with this little half cardigan or cropped cardigan on top of it. I love the color, it screams fall to me. And to play up the fall vibes, I paired it with these camel over the knee suede boots that just scream fall too and this bag it's white camel and black there's like fluffy <laughs> balls on it gorgeous bag i got this one from she in and it really just ties in that fall events kind of look this is a good one that could work for grandma's living room or maybe you're hosting thanksgiving this year so you know you want to look a little bit more put together as the host you know you still said potluck y'all bring the food i provide the space <laughs> um, but it also would work really nicely in a work style function maybe you know dinners with your co-workers that kind of environment and it's so soft and cozy if they still have this or something similar I would get it because it's just so soft. I will say with this kind of dress though, if you are not comfortable with your food baby just doing its thing afterwards, you might wanna wear shapewear under it. I'm okay with the food baby doing its thing afterward, okay? I knew what I was getting into when I pulled up with the macaroni and cheese in the car, okay? <laughs> so I'm okay with that. But if you want to, if you're wearing this out, you know, at a work environment or on date night or something like that, or meeting the family, this is a good meet the family outfit. Spanx is not a bad option. It's not, it's not a bad thing to throw on. The next one is another dress, but this is a little bit more elevated, okay? A little bit more stylish. It's this Azela and Vic blazer dress, but she's short, so I do have on like little black shorts underneath this. So be mindful, she is short. <laughs> not in the back, just in the front, just the way that the blazer kind of wraps in the front. It's a little peekaboo-ish with your purse, so. <laughs> wear some shorts underneath this one for sure or even size up i would actually 
recommend that you size up in a dress like this anyway especially for these occasions where we know we're going to be eating because this is very much food baby appropriate like the way that the panels crisscross they do a phenomenal at camouflaging any low vibrational after effects. This is definitely a winner. Not only is the color screaming fall, it's another green. Am I obsessed with green or what? It's really apparent that I am obsessed with green right now. But this is in a corduroy type of fabric, which is definitely fall. You can't say corduroy doesn't mean fall. It means fall and winter in my book, okay? So the corduroy on this gives that texture and then the paneling and the buttons and the ruching. I'm obsessed with this dress. When I saw it, I knew I had to have it. I styled it with those same camel thigh high boots that I wore with this dress, but to kick it up a notch because this girl definitely just came with plates and cups and that was her contribution, right? So she don't need no big fancy bag. She got her little cute clutch, okay? And her cute little glasses from Forever 21. And she is ready to, you know, hand out her plates so y'all can feed yourselves. <laughs> she didn't bring red cups now. She came with the cute on theme cups and cutlery and everything, but she definitely didn't cook. <laughs> And listen, I love that for her. <laughs> I love it. Now, it wouldn't be a video of mine if there wasn't a slip skirt or a slip dress or something like that in here. So I had to bring you a fall outfit, family function kickback outfit situation that involves a slip skirt for when you're trying to be a little bit more elevated, but you still want comfort too, okay? So I did this black satin slip skirt with a really pretty purple sweater that I got from Shein last year and to play it all up I put those statement boots on that I got from ASOS and I'm actually going to be doing a statement boot outfit ideas video so keep your eyes out for that one okay so this is like a preview of what I'm thinking when it comes to styling statement boots and so this is a really nice one for meeting the family for going to your in-laws meeting up with your friends at an actual restaurant like this is so good for many occasions and it looks like you tried but you really didn't sis because at the end of the day it's a sweater and a slip skirt and some boots it's a formula that forever works, but she looks so put together. This is my classy friend, okay? My classy friend that never fails. <laughs> this is her. And then staying along in that lines, I wanted to do a knit midi skirt. Now this midi skirt actually is from Meshki from my summer set. Somebody actually asked me on Instagram, if you're not following me on Instagram or TikTok, you should, and I'm just saying. But someone had asked me if I can restyle this skirt for fall. So this is how I would wear it, okay? In the summer, it's all about glowing skin, skin out, you know? But for winter, we gotta come with the style and the fashion, okay? So what I did was I actually paired this knit long skirt, yellow long skirt, with this really beautiful chocolate brown blazer that I picked up from Zara. It does have that cut out right along the abdomen. Y'all know I like to show what? Upper stomach, exactly. So <laughs> it is definitely giving us upper stomach, but in a way that it's really flattering. So even if you consume a big meal, it doesn't show as much and you have the option to close all of those buttons at the bottom but I do like to leave it so it flares out a little bit more, accentuates our hips, makes our waist look a little bit more in and snatched even if it's not right now <laughs> and I love the combination of the brown and the yellow you have to let me know how you feel about this one and to add a little bit more texture and make it look more intentional as we're playing with brown and yellow I did pair this with my snakeskin boots from Amazon which really helps ground this entire look and even though it brings in a little bit more colors here all of the colors work together really seamlessly and really tie in the yellow from the skirt and the brown from the blazer in a way that just looks 
like it was meant to be. So this is definitely my wild card outfit. You gotta let me know how you feel about this one or all of the other outfits. Let me know which one you're gonna be wearing or what you planning to wear to Thanksgiving or to your Friendsgiving or whatever else it might be. I wish you the best over this holiday, even though we're not celebrating what it's really meant to be, okay? We're celebrating family and togetherness and gratefulness. Okay, like this video if you like it. Subscribe if you are new here and you have made it this far. Definitely check out some of my other styling videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye.